It's a gold ring with the insignia of the royal family. We're looking for some more uh, hired hands, if you're interested. Fine, I'll go with you. We actually found someone useful. You found a serial killer! <laughs> My god, that's the royal signet. I might be getting a little ahead of myself here, but you know... Yes, there's a reward. Yeah! <laughs> Back at the inn. Huzzah! So what the hell did I miss? Uh, we're, we're like imagining a plot against the kingdom or something. I, I don't know. Is this the ring that was on that zombie's finger that we were trying to get? Yes, the, the one that you died trying to get. Well, you know, I heroically, uh, you know, <laughs> it was pretty awesome. The wimp refuses to serve you, though, because Rob grabbed their ass last time. <laughs> All right, we'll have to get our drinks at the bar. That We, we can work around that. Now I see Larry the loot lugger. Oh, we have Larry. Hey, how you doing? I sold the hogs. Yeah, how much did you make? Dude, I got 10 silver pieces for them. So you murdered, what, three people for one gold? (laughs) Yeah, I guess. Who's this guy? He's our new McTuffins. We figured that he can't heal either. (laughs) Yeah, McTuffins, you you missed. We found a whole uh, deserted village we could have um, looted. Okay. And we didn't. I don't give a shit. (laughs) (laughs) You know what we did? We brought you back here and got you healed. And also found a ring that that's what counts. That might might get us involved in some kind of big questy royalty loot thing. All right. So this ring that was on the zombie, it's it's what an uncle of the royal family that was questing to find the tomb that we had just been at, and he was lost. Yeah. So so there's that. We might get at the very least a reward, and maybe a quest. We have to go and investigate this tomb of uh, Rogaine and Minoxidil. That is where legends are born. That is where treasure lies. That is where my god has pointed me. Hiding in town and waylaying random gnomes digging holes is not going to get a legend made. Not yet. How many gnomes do we need to waylay before we feel safe enough to go out? We've only killed one. At the very least, we should like hit double digits before we make a judgment call on that. <laughs> I have a meeting in the next 24 hours or so. You know, adventure, quest. Your fat friend here seems to cause a lot of trouble. I notice uh, we're banned from a lot of places because of him. Yeah, we're not going to let him anywhere (laughs) near royalty or the quest. Guards begin filling into the uh, room. We're supposed to be guards. We're guards. We're guards. We're guards. We're guards. Uh Uh-oh. The bailiff appears. I'm looking for the man named Skank. Hey-o. I point right at him. You have done a valuable service to the crown. The castellan tomorrow wishes to thank you properly. Sweet. That sounds ominous. Was anyone else involved in this? Yeah, these guys behind us. They, they were all there. All right. Well, present yourself tomorrow at break of dawn. You want a beer while you're here or have a seat or anything? Or I'm very busy. Guys, guys, this is it. We're, we, we're, we're going to get, like, knighted or some shit. Or they're going to put us to death for knowing too much now. Oh, I didn't <laughs> consider that. If that was going to happen, they would have probably done it right now. That's true. A lot of people heard that conversation. I look for a place to go clean up. Yeah, you could do it at 14, the inn. Rob, you doing anything for the rest of the night? Eh, I'm going to fuck around. Uh, fuck around how? I don't know. Just uh, generally just hit on babes. Uh, make a charisma roll. <laughs> Natural four. Oh, yeah. Did you have a room at the inn? Nope. <laughs> What a pity. We could have had some... Hang on a second. I go up to a room in the inn. Just a random room. I knock on one of the doors. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to get banned from here, too. (laughs) Larry the loot lugger is there. Oh, fuck you, Larry. Get out of here. I can close the door. (laughs) Fucking Larry. I'm sick of that guy already. I go knock on another door. A halfling enters the door. There's about seven other halflings behind him in the room. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i just closed the door okay wrong room i knock on a third door an old man enters the door hello uh can i borrow your room for like 20 minutes no i'll pay you five gold okay i'll go get a drink <laughs> all right i drag in rando babe into the room well now you have to deal with the old man's wife that you left behind <laughs> You know, it's, he's got a weird setup. There's a board there with, like, eldritch runes all over it. 
<laughs> oh shit, what the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> hmm. Well, I've only got 20 minutes, of which I need about seven or eight, so let me get that out of the way first. All right. <laughs> Make a constitution roll. Yeah. Fail! <laughs> Woo! You finish up real quick. You hear behind you a whole bunch of people go, Aww. <laughs> Goddamn studio audience. Yeah, you turn around. The room is filled with ghosts. What? All watching you. That's, that wasn't a studio audience at all? It's ghosts. Fuck this. I don't like this at all. I, uh, I grab the girl and I thrust her towards the ghosts and I flee. Okay. <laughs> uh... Make a dexterity roll, Rob. Oh, fuck you with your dexterity rolls. <laughs> hey, I made it! Look at that! You dodge out of the room. The girl looks at the ghost and starts screaming and ages 150 years and crumbles the dog. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you're coming out of the inn and you see Rob running out half naked, screaming, oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, she's an uggo now! <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> I'm not giving you experience points for her death, either. <laughs> <laughs> One pair of pants later. All right, morning. I get up early and start cleaning my armor. So I look as presentable as possible. Yeah, Rob seems very worse for wear. You guys will not believe what the fuck happened to me. Jesus Christ, I just about shit myself. And by just about, I mean I totally did. <laughs> it's funny that you went to such efforts to clean yourself up. Lance, and now you got Mick Tuffins who's like shit covered and <laughs> <laughs> flies and shit come off. <laughs> All right, where's this uh, castle in heaven? What, what, what's going on? Did we get to go into the inner gates? Uh, well, you go before the gates to 18, which leads you into the inner bailey. The captain of the guard meets you there. The castle is very eager to meet you. Likewise, lead on. You see, you go into the inner bailey, you see troops working out there, you see the barracks about, the cavalry stables. Before you is the keep proper, the inner fortress of the keep. So this is actually the keep on the borderlands. We've made it. Guys, we did it. High five. Now you just got to kill the castle and you can take over. Wait, is that true though? If we take him out, we can... No. Oh. Are we discussing this out loud? (laughs) (laughs) Number 24... It has a grandeur to it, but it's made for more function than aesthetic value. The castle in Michu with his wife next to him. Gentlemen, you have done the crown a great service, and you will be rewarded in the traditional manner. Oh, this sounds ominous. We're going to get kicked in the balls until we piss blood. (laughs) (laughs) He hands each of you a pouch, 50 gold pieces each. What? The disappearance of our late king's uncle has been a mystery surrounding us for the past ten years. Now you have found his body and brought back his signet ring. Even though the future of our realm is up in the air, we don't know who the next king will be. They're all relatives of this missing man. So no matter who comes to power, they'll have wanted to thank you. Excellent. Now, assuming some miscreant is behind this deed, perhaps... If we bring him to justice, we can expect further rewards? Fine. Who turned him into a zombie? We will discover the originator of this crime. I think we'll get to work on that right away. Thank you. We're not finished yet, gentlemen. Oh, oh. You've heard of the Codex of Ulm, correct? Codex with a T? Codex? The Codex. This was recovered from the Mound of Ulm some many years ago. Oh, that Codex. You guys have no idea what he's talking about. Is it like O-H-L-M? Is that what you're saying? U-L-M. It is a portal to the myriad realms around us, all overlapping upon each other. We'll remove one, and the tapestry of reality falls apart. All right. Follow me. They bring you into the room in 27 there. Interesting. Okay. What? Wow, I can't believe we're being let... He doesn't it. know how wildly incompetent... Yeah, yeah. Of all people to bring in... We're... We accidentally stumbled across this ring in a freaking hole. And now the uh, fate of the entire multiverse is going to be in our hands. <laughs> he told me to get as weird as I want to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your own fault. You see a circular raised dais with uh, runes all around it. The runes spark with their own energy, occasionally crackle up. In the center of it is a rotating hole, just floating in the air. That is the Codex. 
That's what the mages call it who brought it back here. How did an artifact of such obvious power end up way out here in the frontier? It came from Ohm. The old mages brought it back, but they couldn't drag it any further, so they built the keep around it to anchor this thing in place. Okay. Okay, suddenly, suddenly the keep on the borderlands is an interesting place. Wait a minute. They sacrificed a hundred souls per rune. That's a lot of souls. You can, at some certain times at night, you can still hear them cackling. Yeah, you motherfucking can. Yeah. <laughs> but, at certain times, you may be able to retrieve something from the Codex. And I'm going to allow you each to stick your hand in and pull an item. Shit, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Do bad things ever happen when you put your hand in? Yes. You go first, Lance. You might pull something terrible from it. Just do it. Just do it. I do. I go up and I put my hand in. All right. You grab the hilt of a sword and yank it out. Oh. It crackles with power. You see elvish runes on the side. I heft it. I check the weight. How's the weight? The Get the fuck out of the way. It's our turn. <laughs> <laughs> Gank and back toughens bonk into each other, trying to be the next one to shove their hand in. You grab a sack of burlap. Yes. Bag of holding or something. Thank you, fates. Out of the way, you. I jammed my arm in there. <laughs> it's a book on how to lose weight. You pull out a suit of plate mail armor. Woo! Jesus. It resizes to your size. Good thing for that. It's McTuffin sized. Should we bow our way out of the keep room and, and flee? You have my interest now, gentlemen. We need heroes of your caliber to retain this land and take it back for the realm. I try not to laugh at the heroes of your caliber. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. And backing away, backing away. A little later. I would like to look in my burlap sack and find out what the fuck I just got. What do you do with it? Look in it. You go further down than you should. This is the classic bag of holding. Is that what we're dealing with? That is correct. Aha. Sweet. I can do some damage. I'm thinking about filling up with 200 pounds of gravel. That way I can just dump it on some monster. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get crazy. I try on my mighty suit of plate. Does that armor significantly up your tankiness or anything? I would imagine. I can tell you right now. It's plate mail plus one. Just right there in the courtyard, we're having you strip down and put it on. He's hopping along trying to put it on. Fucking A right. How much damage does my sword do? Or do I have to hit something first to find out? It's got special properties that you have to discover. You know who'd look really good with that sword? Renegade. Oh, yeah, he would. We should probably give that to him. Yeah. Yeah. If you die, I'm taking your plate mail. Yeah, not after I do this in it. <laughs> <laughs> Fabuloso goes, wow, that's a cool sword. Real cool writing on the side there. You know what it says? It says wizard skewer. Ooh. Yeah, I uh, read Elvish. Wizard skewer, huh? wonder what that means. It means it's a plus one sword, plus two against spell users. Hey, uh, Lance, good thing about those elves, right? They did a good job on that, right? I stay silent. You're really grateful for those elves, right? No? Man, what would we do without elves? I know, no shit. <laughs> well, I have to go spend almost all this gold on a crossbow and some bolts. Is there any place that sells tiny little outfits? No. <laughs> oh, that's such a good idea. A monkey. Dude, yeah. You mean put the monkey in? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of a little jacket and, like, a little hat. You'd have to specially order that made. I will do so. Who, who can I specially order this from? What's a crossbow do as damage? 1d6. What's a monkey-sized crossbow do? 1 to 2, but it's so cute. I don't think we have the little wrist crossbows yet. I think that's advanced. Andrew replies seriously to my question. <laughs> It'll fling shit if it needs to. It's a well-known fact that a monkey in a fight's best weapon is a rusty blade of some kind. Should we do that? Like a rusty fork? Like on a trial basis, see how he does. All monkeys should get straight razors. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the provisioner and uh, order a monkey suit if you want. I will do so. I'm going to go and order a monkey suit. Next to the trader. Like a little monkey wizard? Yes, a little monkey wizard. I want stars and moons on it and a little pointed hat. There's a large wagon outside the trader. You see, the trader yells at you. This is the kind of stuff I want. Not your half dented junk. You ripped off a goblin. Oh yeah. So foot bindings. You you try to flog off to me. 
I flogged off on your mom. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the provisioners. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Ah, sorry, I'm just so mad. Uh, tiny little monkey clothes. You got them? I'm afraid I have no tiny little monkey clothes. No. Could I perhaps order some? Okay, pulls out a tape measure. I can order something. What do you want, a jacket? Yeah, yeah, like a little wizard jacket with moon and stars on it. All right, fine. I can do that. And like like a couple of different ones. We want one of those. Then we want like a, a sports outfit. Like a little jersey with a number on the back. Oh, God. Okay, fine. <laughs> and then something formal. Maybe with some shoulder epaulets. Like a Sergeant Pepper kind of deal? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. 50 gold for all three suits. 50 gold. God damn. Let's see what I got. Oh, wait. I got 50 gold yesterday. Uh... Here you go. <laughs> It'll take about a week for it to get here. I'll be back. <laughs>